Hey guys, Cabbagini here, reporting for Downforce UK, and today with Brendan Lee, who drove for the Mercedes F1 Esports team. How are you, Brendan? I'm good, how are you? So, Brendan, you're two-time world champion in the F1 Esports. How did you get into the Esports? So, as a kid, I did motocross, and I saw Codemasters brought out the game in 2010. Ever since then, I've been hooked on their game and playing it ever since. F1 put out a tweet in 2017 or September, September saying that they announced the F1 Esports series, and I thought, why not give it a crack, and it's worked out so far. So obviously you've been driving for the Mercedes team for both years. How's the experience been in the esports competing like that? So driving with Mercedes this year has been just amazing sensations because I've worked alongside Lewis, Valtteri and all their engineers to improve me and my teammates alike. And it's just been a huge teamwork effort to make it all possible and it's just been amazing for me personally. So did you do any esports before you went into F1? Yes, yeah, so I've been doing uh, racing esports for about seven years, four years competitively, uh, but since then four years then got into F1 esports in 2017. So obviously you've done the F1 esports, is there any other speed esports you've done whilst in between the races to keep you up to date? Uh, not in between the races, but I'm going to Race of Champions, they're hosting an E-Rock event next weekend in Mexico, so I'm going to Mexico to race that and the winner of that will go against Sebastian Vettel and David Coulthard in the real cars. So obviously you're doing that in Mexico, is there any other races you have planned abroad? Uh, I don't think there's any other races planned abroad, but if something comes up and my team takes a fancy to it, then we'll definitely give it a crack. Yeah, so obviously I do esports as well, I do the car sim, you've had a go on it this weekend. What did you think about it? I think the car sim was very good, I can understand why a car driver would find it useful and how they can grow their talents from it, and obviously it works because a lot of drivers like yourself were gaining knowledge from it and going faster on track. So as you said, as a kid you used to do motocross, what do you prefer, the esports or the actual racing? Uh, I think I prefer actual racing cars, but esports is very cool as well, um, but there's nothing better than driving a real car, is there? No, not really. Do you think esports can get you far and get you into that top spot? Because lots of people dream of getting into F1. Do you think the esports can get you into that? Yeah, I think esports can get me into the top spot. I have a great management team and I think we're working very hard behind the scenes to make it possible. So maybe we see where we are in four years. So obviously you're still quite young, do you think you have a chance of getting into actual motorsport in single seaters? I think anything's possible if you put your mind to it. I'm keeping my dream alive and pushing forward to go into single seaters in real life. So we just have to keep pushing forward, training hard and see what happens. Have you got any plans of doing any other esports championships apart from the F1 esports? Yeah, I think there's some other esports championships where I take my fancy and maybe we give them a crack in between the next season of F1 esports and see how it goes. So obviously today we're walking around to the Autosport. Is there any other sims you've had to go on and try to beat some other times? I tried the V-Box sim and the Kart sim. Funny enough, you beat me on that one. Um, but yeah, I've been trying all the sims and gaining a lot of knowledge about how they're running and meeting new people who run the sims. So there we go. That was a quick interview with Brendan Lee about esports and how they are good for you. So thank you, Brendan, for your time. It has been a pleasure talking to you. So we're going to have to wrap it up there. We'll see you later, guys. Bye.